Jim here back on the job and today I have a really interesting video. It looks like this. It was referred to me by a channel fan and so the original video is called the Socorro Vortex May 4th 2013. That confused me a little because I wanted to do a little research for this. I looked up Socorro and I looked up Vortex and the first thing that came up was this. <laughs> it's a liveaboard in Socorro called the Vortex. So I said, okay, maybe the place is Socorro. And I looked it up and here is Socorro. It is significantly to the west of Mexico, as you can see here. And there's a little island there and it is pelagic. Have a look at the videos here. They get mantas, they get rays, they get sharks, hammer sharks, great whites, tigers. Uh, they've got whales in there. I see whale sharks, dolphins. I see there's some orcas. Holy cow, this place looks like a dream. And look at the visibility, it's just unbelievable. Anyway, uh, the Socorro Vortex is a kind of a premium level uh, live board that, that services that spot. All right, so what was additionally confusing for me is, so this video is called the Socorro Vortex, and then I looked it up and it was the name of a live board, but clearly I saw a vortex in the water. I thought maybe that was the name of a dive site there. It does not appear to be. I looked for dive sites there that had a lot of vortices. I couldn't find any listing. So apparently it was just a dive site at Socorro that happened to have a vortex that day. Let's look at the meaning. What is a vortex? Vortex, this is Merriam-Webster. Uh, something that resembles a whirlpool. The hellish vortex of battle. <laughs> Check, that looked like a battle you'll see soon. Or a mass of fluid, such as a liquid. Many people don't know that. A fluid is actually a liquid or a gas. Go figure. Uh, with a whirling or circular motion that tends to form a cavity or vacuum in the center of the circle and to draw towards this cavity or vacuum bodies subject to its action. That sounds a little bit more like what we're going to deal with here. Okay, back to the action. Let's have a look at the video. Three, two, one, here we go. <laughs> Got some sound there, maybe I'll... Let me turn that off actually, okay. All right, so you can see these folks going down and it looks like a, a beautiful dive. Um, coming down, I don't really see anything yet. I'm gonna wait until we get to a more exciting part of the dive. So the beginning of the dive doesn't really show much. Here actually, just right here, you can kind of see something starting to happen down the lower section, but, but not well. Once the camera comes down, here it is, all right? So anybody out there who's been caught in a down current, you know that uh, when you exhale your bubbles in a down current, they just kind of stick around you. Well, here, I've never seen anything like this. So this is an underwater tornado, an underwater whirlpool, a vortex, and the bubbles are staying inside the vortex and spinning. Now, what you're gonna see soon is these two divers are getting totally out of control. Now, I read the comments, and there's nothing in the description that helps me out here. I read the comments, and you know they're talking about a lot of different stuff like some people said these guys are acting they're only using their arms they're not really finning they seem to be spinning around on purpose i have no idea however uh, you know if they are stuck in there and if they do happen to want to get out i think what i would do and a lot of the comments suggested as well was you know get on that inflator and inflate out of it and once you're out of it deflate again right so uh, but you can see here i mean this guy he, he definitely seems to, and he seems to have a, a, a knife or something in his hand. I don't know. I can't really see. Uh, but there, there's something long and metallic in his hand. But look at that spinning. I mean, uh, it's very, if this is acting, this is very convincing. That, that guy's spinning around. So I couldn't find anything about Vortex, as I said, in Socorro. But generally what I would expect is two currents hitting each other to form a vortex. That's actually how a tornado is formed. There are two bodies of air. A tornado actually starts out horizontal and then tilts to touch the ground. Um, or perhaps a, um, an underwater body or pinnacle maybe could help form a vortex like this. But look at that. I mean, he's, he's, that's clearly trying to get out of there. Look at him. By fins, not, not by using his, his BC. He's really not doesn't appear to be anybody trying to BC very hard. So these fellas uh, struggle with this, you know, still good visibility and there's, you know, still some decent sea life around there. Um, 
So I, I, I guess, you know, and there are people just outside of the Vortis, uh, Vortis, and there are people just outside the Vortex. There's a fellow over there filming. No one's really trying to help either, so it makes me also think that maybe this was for filming purposes. I don't know. Uh, you can also hear them uh, when I turn the sound on. I mean, you can hear them yelling and making making voices you know, for help. So very convincing. But like this fellow doesn't seem to be helping anybody there, right? I mean, he's even faced the opposite direction. So mm, doesn't seem like there's a lot of worry on some of the people's minds. And there he is. Spinning around some, mm, but I don't know here. Okay, now he's going to try, he's using his hands a lot, and the comments did mention that. All right, obviously, you're going to get out of this, you're going to need your fins. Of course, those are pretty effective split fins he's wearing by the looks of it, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, he doesn't really appear to be struggling very hard to get out of it, maybe because he tired or he figured while well, struggling. Now look at this other fellow here. He's pretty close and he, I think I think that's a camera, isn't it? And he gave him the okay symbol and is swimming away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot of questions to this video, aren't there? Okay, I don't know. So as it, as it's still going on, I'm going to stick with it. But I, I'd like you, if anybody out there has more information about this video, for example, what I'd like to know, so is this genuine? Do you have any information about the video itself? Uh, is it genuine? Was it a stunt? Uh, what's going on there? Also, do you happen to know what dive site this is? Because I looked around, I couldn't find any information that said... Uh, you know, there were like a half a dozen really famous dive sites there. None of them listed were uh, known to form a vortex like this. So I couldn't get any info. And everything, every search I did about vortex came up as this liveaboard. So it was a really ineffective search. Now you can see everybody's out of it. And they're uh, finning away. Now they seem to be helping them. Now, he's at that, now that he's out of it, they grabbed him and they're helping him. Maybe they're like, hey, I wasn't going into the danger for you, fella. Anyway, it seems to be simmering down now, but what a really interesting underwater feature that is, huh? I've never encountered anything like that. I really don't want to. People talk about uh, how to avoid, obviously, diving in Sokoro is guided diving. You're diving on a professional boat. My guess is the professionals would have known that that was down there um, if they didn't. Uh, you know, There should have been someone on that dive who that's another reason why I'm kind of suspect as to whether this is genuine or not. I would suspect that if you were diving with one of those professional little boards, for example, the Vortex, they would go, they would know that certain sites have that current feature that would possibly form a Vortex. Uh, they would give you the warning. I'm sure if they thought that was possible, they would send a guy down and make sure for looking for this thing. You probably might not be able to see it unless there were bubbles already in it. Uh, but my guess is the best way to, to get out of one is to not get in it. All right. Okay. Uh, let me know if you have any more information on this very fascinating dive set. Or if anyone's dove there, did you see this? I mean, you know, what what is there not to see there? It's just unbelievable. Um, yeah, if you've been there, give us some feedback. I'd like to rethank my, my patrons for supporting the channel. Uh, there is a patron link down below. We had a really fun chat the other night and it was about, we were trying to talk about a new diver's fear of sharks and how that's gone and everybody's experience with sharks and trying to talk this person into a better state of being with the act of hopefully seeing sharks someday on his or her dive. All right, so if you want to join that team, uh, the link is down below. You know how the algorithm works, comment, like, that sort of thing. If you aren't subscribed, we certainly appreciate that. Okay, thanks everybody, and I will see you on the beach.